Hey YouTube, Briar Lynn here, and I'm gonna have to kinda rush through this because I have rogies on the stove, and I have to go to work in about an hour. So, um, last weekend was Memorial Day. I didn't go to the parade because I had to work that Sunday. We do our parade on Sunday, usually. Um, and I haven't gotten to pay respects to Jack Lee Connors. When I tried to go on Monday, there were a lot of families there. And although I consider Jack Lee Connors a part of my family, I didn't want to interrupt the moment that other families were having with their deceased loved ones. So I'm going to try tonight and go and see him. But yes, Memorial Day was solemn, but also there was a lot of joy. I heard a lot of children out playing with their families this weekend, and that was a real treat. Um, but that also, Memorial Day, also means that tourist season has kicked off where I live. Um, Bad Axe doesn't really get tourists. Um, I can't really say they get like a huge boost to the economy here in town. But, you know, you go 20 minutes any direction but south and you hit water. So we get a lot of people coming through here. And I spend a lot of my time at the lake because I live so close. And so it's a big kickoff for me too. Like I know when more, when Memorial Day is here and has gone, then I know where I live at least summer has begun. We don't really get spring. We kind of have like maybe a month of spring and then it just jumps from winter to summer. So there were garage sales. Unfortunately, I didn't find that much. Um, I don't have it here to show you guys, but I did find a little sign that I thought was really cute. Plane going overhead. Oh, well. Um, but I found a sign that was really cute. It was Harvest Pumpkins 5 cents, and it was very vintage. So I have that hanging in my entryway along with my little um, witch brooms and my little witch signs. Um, I have one that says, and I've seen it in the back of Madame Luna's videos occasionally, but it says, today I am a good witch. <laughs> and I also have um, a sign that says, you know, the witch is in, the witch is out. I've got all kinds of fun things in the entryway. So it fit right in. And then I found that at the same garage sale, I found this little treasure. And I'm going to try and show it as whole. So there's the top, bottom, and it opens up. And as you can see here, it has holes. There, it's a little better. It has holes in it. And this is intended for incense. And the lady that I bought this from had no idea that was its purpose. Um, she thought that it was just supposed to hold like jewelry. But it does say made in India. It is made out of stone. I can tell that just holding it. And you can probably hear it too. Um, but yeah, this was a great find. I don't have any cones incense at the moment. But I'm going to try more loose incense and smudges. I think smudges would work really fantastic in here. So yeah, this was one of my garage sale finds. We did find a beautiful rocking chair for 15 But the only place I could think to put it right now is in the spare bedroom. And the spare bedroom is haunted enough without, you know... A ghost pop and squat and rocking back and forth. <laughs> I have more stories. I don't think they'll be coming tomorrow, but they might be coming on Monday. So, <laughs> just a little heads up. And last week, I really only bought one thing that I can show you. Uh, we ate the other things. We mostly bought food last weekend at the farmer's market. It was pretty crazy. Um, I couldn't get any tamales because the tamale lady was sold out. Couldn't get any pierogies because the pierogi lady was sold out. Um, oh, darn it. I should have grabbed it. Um, I did pick up some juniper berries, dried juniper berries, which was shocking. I have never seen anyone sell anything like that up there before. Um, we picked up some black Hawaiian, not Himalayan, black Hawaiian salt as well from that same vendor. And they are in the cutest little bottles. Um, my husband has them, 
in a part of the kitchen. I just forgot to grab them. But they were a pretty decent price. I think the juniper berries were six. They're like a tall little jar like that, about yay big around. Um, and then the black Hawaiian salt was 10, which I expected that to be more. Um, but very charming couple. Although I could see like they had quotes from the Bible up and she's like, oh dear, what are you going to use these juniper berries for? And I just blurted the first thing that came to mind. I said, oh, I'm going to use them in tea. Oh, that's fantastic. That would be great. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm actually using them in spells, but whatever, we'll just say tea. <laughs> um, but I also picked up this beauty. <laughs> and I don't know if she is going to catch the light, but I'm looking at Spud because Spud is checking out the crystals too. Um, but I bought this from a vendor who's up there every week where... Very, very fortunate that we have not one, but two vendors that sell stones and crystals. My husband also bought a glass decanter in the shape of a skull from these folks. Um, they only wanted $10 for it. And he's like, okay, sold. And the guy's like, you know what? I'll give it to you for eight. All right, that's even better. Because <laughs> my husband just really wanted that. I'd show it to you, but he has whiskey in it and I don't want to spill any. But yes, so I got this large chunk of rose quartz, and I think I've never shown him to you, but I have a chunk of mahogany, like fossilized mahogany in that corner. Um, that shelf isn't ready to show yet. I am still moving things around, arranging things on that shelf, um, but he stays here in the living room. He's my, like, grounding piece that grounds the whole house. Um, but I think he's about the size of this. But this is the largest crystal that I have. And he and his wife had, like, ten of them in a box. A little cardboard box. And um, you're not going to believe what these were priced. All of them were this size or comparable to this size. And it cost me $4. I'm not even kidding, like $4 for this huge chunk of rose quartz. Now, I will say it's not the most, like, strongly pink rose color that I've ever seen, because it's got, I don't know if you can tell, I need to stop flipping it around. <laughs> but it does have a lot of white in there, but I am totally fine with that. I went through the entire box. And yeah, you can really see it on this side. Like there's huge white here and here. Doesn't bother me. Um, I've already taken, uh, I've already taken, I've already taken a crystal bath with this big girl. And um, she got quite the, um, we had quite the moment because I just, I sat in the bath and the bath was really awesome because it was like pink water. So to go with the rose quartz, so I had this chunk, I had my other chunk in there, my two little amethysts and a chunk of uh, clear quartz all in the tub with me. <laughs> and I just held this one in my hands. It was a very rough, emotional day. I cried a lot. This was Thursday. Um, but she was there for me. Even though it was our first time working together, she was more than happy to let me cry and pour my heart out. And I don't know when I will make a video about that, but if if you're on my Facebook, you probably saw me blog, uh, like putting some vague messages out there. We were trying not to be on the nose because my parents do have Facebook and so does his so do his parents. Um, and we, if it was yes, we didn't want to spoil the surprise on Facebook, but yeah. So just thought I'd show you and tell you that we're already getting along. It's going to be a spring wedding. <laughs> yes, I picked this up from that vendor for $4 and they are very kind and sweet. Um, 
Now, yesterday I stopped in Harbor Beach because Harbor Beach does a farmer's market on Fridays, as does Pigeon, where I work. But I didn't want to go over to Pigeon because I work over there. Um, and I can always catch that if I'm working on a Friday before work. So I went to Harbor Beach and I sadly don't think I will go back there. Um, a, because it's always freezing cold in Harbor Beach. Um, it's on the east side of the county, and that means, like, all of the cold winds blow in, and what makes it worse is it's on the east, and it's the deepest water, which chills down the air even more. Like, you'll be five minutes to driving into Harbor Beach, and you'll just feel, like, the air drop, like, 10, 15, sometimes 20 degrees. I'm not even kidding. Like, it's the weirdest thing. Um... But, and I will show you one, I got this set of earrings, very cute, little green owls, I don't know if you can see the color because my fingers are in the way, but little green owl, little tiny green beads, a little clear, little uh, clear bead, you can't really see it that much, but with the fastening at the end. Very, very cute. Um, I love owls. I don't worship Athena, but I love owls. I'm sure there are other deities, but she's always the first one to come to mind when I see owls. Um, I've always been a collector of owls. It's just way easier right now because owls are popular, and I will take advantage of that. Um, but these little guys were $6. And I also picked up... Um, some buttons. I don't have them right here because I've already started gluing them to pages from my grimoire and things. So I bought some buttons, but I didn't really get anything else. Which brings me to today. So today I stopped up at the lake, up at Port Austin, and the first things I'm going to go through real quick are going to be bath things. So... If you're not into bath things, that's okay. You can just skip ahead. Um, let's say skip ahead like 10 minutes. Um, I'll try and leave a timestamp. I don't know if I'll have time to do that right away. But I'll try and keep this brief. Um, from Stopers Soaps. I bought some orange mint bath salts. Not those kind. For your actual bath. And it's actual salt. Um, my grandmother, I swear, she just... My grandma Smith, I love her. But she loves drama more than anyone or anything. So when you'll say, oh yeah, I tried out some bath salts. Like, she'll immediately jump to the worst conclusion. It's like, grandma, we used to make these together. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so yeah. Soper soaps, orange mint. I think there's a lot of orange mint scents coming out. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but yes, she had this good bag, and then I bought raspberry champagne soap, because I wanted to give it a try. Um, and this is, I believe, a soy soap. Yes, I think so. Yeah, it feels like soy. So, a soy soap, and then some orange mint. No, I don't think this is going to 10 minutes because I'm just briefly going through. I mean, it's orange and mint and like raspberries. That's all you really need to know on that one. But this vendor here, like that one was fine. That was great. She also sold um, wax melts and candles, but I'm not burning as much of those right at the moment. I'm burning more incense. Um, for me, summer is incense, winter is candles. So that's just my personal. Now, Soper Soaps does not have an online store, so I'm just putting that out there. This lady, however, does. So I'm just trying to empty out this bag here so I can show you guys, and now I'm like in a wonderful pastel little party over here. But this company is The Sweet Siren. Um very lovely lady she was very kind and she was very excited because i guess she was up last weekend and sold out of her stock like she had nothing left 
Um, and she, so she's going to be coming up more often. And she was very happy with how kind all of the other vendors are. Um, how people up here, like both weekends, both, you know, the touristy busy weekend. And now like, this is more of a locals weekend because school is still going on at a lot of places. So they haven't moved their kids up here yet for the summer season. So I spent probably an extra 20 minutes just talking to folks. Um, but she was very, very happy that she started swimming up here. And we are very happy to have her. Any case, I'm sorry. I just love talking to vendors because I have sold at farmer's markets in the past. Um, I did it for about five years. I helped my in-laws sell their ceramics. So I'm very invested in supporting farmer's markets and its vendors, especially new faces, because you really want to make a good impression so they come back. Um, but yes, she has an Arwen. Arwen, somebody has shower steamers, and they're really, really cute. They're so cute. <laughs> Give you a better look. Look at that. They've got little seashells. They're adorable. All of her all of her packaging is adorable, as you'll see. Um, but yes, shower steamers. And I got these for my husband because he likes nice smelling things too, but our bath isn't deep enough for him. So yeah. And in here, I'm not going to open it because as I said, this is for my husband. But all of them are individually wrapped in cellophane. So even if you want to save these for a while they're good like these are sealed tight um but the scents she has are eucalyptus mint citrus lift sweet dreams orange mint and lemon lavender so yes very cute packaging all of this stuff smells divine And she forgot to mention this whole pack was $5. So, um, when I give you guys the address, it might be a little bit more online because she has to factor in, like, selling it and stuff. But I got all of this that's around me for 20 bucks. So, yeah, this was 5 And then I got these little darlings, which are bubble bath bars. If you've ever used a lush bubble bath, bubble bath bar, you just crumble them up and run them under the water. And I got one in Mango Tango. And I'm going to show you the design on the back. Isn't that cute? It looks like a little candy or a little pastry. It looks so cute. So yeah, that's Mango Tango. And then we have Lemon Lavender. And if you're like me and you don't really like flowery lavender, she's got really great, like, it's it's more candied to me. But yeah, that's the Lemon Lavender. Also very cute. This one had a slight crack in it, but these were $2. And you, you can't beat $2 for a little tiny bath. Bubble bath. And now we get to the real, real beauties. Um, this was another six, I believe. No, it was, uh, excuse me. It was two for ten for these. So, the shower steamers for all of those was six. Excuse me. I'm very sorry about that. Um, but yeah, two bath bombs for ten dollars. So we've got Lemon Lavender again, and again, it's really cellophane in there, but look at the design on this, guys. This is fabulous. Like, look at all the colors she's got on here. It's like a mixed blue and purple, and then you've got, like, your little band of yellow. So 
Like these are not friendly letters. They're not solid. So there's that one, and then there's Twilight, which of course is kind of not kind of, it is. It's like pulling off of Lush. It's a dupe. But this one's going to my girlfriend. Her birthday. She's a Gemini. So her birthday's coming up. So she might get a sneaky peeky of what's going to be in there. But like she put lavender on top. There's like the pretty white. And then there's even more lavender infused in the actual gold one. And that's this. <laughs> That makes me smile. I love that box and stuff. So yeah, as I said, all of this was twenty dollars. Um, if I got some of the prices wrong, that's okay, because she has a website. <laughs> Very cute art right there. That was drawn by her daughter, who I also got to meet. So there's her information. I'll link down below. But yeah, she said that her online store right now doesn't have a whole lot of stock in it just because she keeps selling out. If you do want to get a hold of her, um, the sweet siren at yahoo.com. So if you do want to make an order and you don't mind waiting for it to be mailed, you can do that. Oh, Missy just dropped something. One moment. <laughs> Sorry, Missy was getting excited too. She's like, oh, mom, are you playing with stuff? Last but not least, or nope, I lied. Okay, second to last, um, we have Cabin Confections, and I'm doing a shout out for these people. Um, they are, as it says on here, Cabin Confections, so they are a confectionery. Now, I don't know if they go west of the Mississippi, but I do know that. They go all the way, they've gone all the way down to Florida. They've gone to North Carolina. They've gone to Virginia. They've gone to Maine. Um, Kentucky, I know they've gone to. I know they've gone to Ohio, Wisconsin. They've gone pretty much everywhere, east side of the Mississippi. I did not get a chance to ask because, fortunately, her husband was feeling rather ill. But this lady... She's the bomb.com. I love her stuff. My husband loves her stuff. Um, I will link their Facebook down below. But as I said, they're willing to travel. They are a confectioner. Uh, they do make, if you're not sure what a confectionery is, they make chocolates. <laughs> and what I'm showing you right now is their chocolate covered Oreo. Because these are my faves. And they were very kind and wonderful and catered, or not catered, excuse me, they did all the party favors for my wedding, um, for TJ and my wedding. I, I always get really stumbled up on saying that, because, like, I say our wedding, and then it's like, oh, well, do you mean for your husband, or are you talking to your girlfriend? <laughs> like, even though he's my husband, sometimes people get confused and don't know who I'm talking about. But yes, I'm rambling and I shouldn't be. But yes, these guys make awesome chocolate. I had to give them a shout out. Um, we did a package of 200 and I'm not kidding you guys. They made us so much chocolate for 200, $200, not 200 people. Like it was only a wedding of like 80, <laughs> 80 people. But we had so much chocolate left over because we were begging people just like take it home just take some chocolate home please like take two take three because they told us that two hundred dollars was going to be a lot of chocolate and we were fools and did not believe them but they set up the tape they set up their own table they had their own like decorations that corresponded with ours um we had a skyrim wedding so <laughs> that was quite a tall order to fill but they were wonderful um she usually, like, when she's taking it up to the lake, will just have the drizzle design. But she can do almost des any design you want. Um, because we are nerds. <laughs> I asked for them to do the mage circle. 
as well as the Templar sword. Now, they couldn't do the sword. She tried and tried, and, I mean, <laughs> basically everything she tried to do um, for the swords ended up looking like dicks. <laughs> so she did not go with that, but... We managed to, I don't remember offhand what design we went with, but she was very accommodating, was very sweet, and they ended up staying an extra two hours after the wedding was over, just talking to us and my parents. Like, I thought they were never going to be able to leave, because both of my parents just had them on lockdown, because <laughs> they wanted to talk to them so bad, because they had heard such wonderful things, and so yeah. These people are awesome. I'm going to stop gushing. But, as I said, if you're east of the Mississippi and you want some chocolate, even if it's just for yourself, fuck it. I mean, this year for Christmas, I'm buying from these guys and I'm just handing everybody a shit ton of chocolate. So, I will leave a link down below. And bless you if you made it all the way through this video. But last but not least, I have some more shinies. And this is from the second vendor. I'm just going to get these little boxes all arranged here so it's easier to grab. But the first ones I'm going to show you, now, these were supposed to be a dollar each, but because one of them was so small, he just gave it to me without charging me for it at all. Um, and they are two little, very tiny, like, raw cluster amethyst. So I'll show you the itty bitty one first. Look at how tiny it is. It's so cute. Um, It's a little easier to show you th this side. So there's there's one little tiny, tiny cluster. Very cute, very sweet. Um, <laughs> so there's one. And then here's the other slightly bigger cluster. <laughs> oh, look at that. Such a pretty, pretty cluster. Um, So yeah, the reason why I got these two tiny, tiny clusters is because I want to use them in shadow boxes. So I'm not going to glue them to the shadow box, so I was trying to get like as flat of a base as I could. But yeah, these are meant for crafting, so that's why I got them so itty bitty. <laughs> um, and I will show you guys the shadow boxes when I'm done. I have one of them that's almost done. You can actually see it in the shot. It's right there. It's almost done. I just am waiting for some things to dry and be really secure. But yeah. So those two little amethyst clusters. As I said, he gave me them both for a dollar. Um, and then I have... Now he listed this as apricot. I've always heard it as peach. Um, but a little piece of peach agate. Or, I don't know. I've always heard of agate, so that's where we're going with. <laughs> there, that's a little better. Now, what's amusing is I was actually looking for blue lace agate, and he did have some really pretty pieces, but then I saw this right next to them, like some peach, uh, peach agate, and these were calling to me more, so I just went through the little selection he had. He had like four or five of them. And I just had to go with this one. And all of the agate, 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 whatever, were $3. So I got this little beauty for 3 And I really want to take this one to work with me. Like, it hasn't been cleansed, it hasn't been charged, but I really want to take this one to work with me today. So I might just do that. <laughs> and then this is the whole reason I went to this particular vendor. Again, sadly, he didn't have any cards on him at the moment. Um, I know he does have an online shop, though. But I would always buy crystals in person. Um, but yeah, it's a citrine cluster. I believe, yes, citrine. And this was $10, which I could fully understand why this cluster would be 10 And he had a ton of them. Um, most of them were really small, tiny crystals, but I really liked 
them. I don't mean like the bed, like this this was about the size of all of them, but I mean the crystals itself themselves. Like this, I could actually focus on all of the pieces. Oh, and look at how I kept this on my oh my gosh, this is exciting. Is this a five bonus? I know I have the white or the um not white, it's white yellow of calcite. And sometimes I accidentally say citrine, but I have calcite. I didn't have any citrine. So I picked this bad boy up. I don't know, this one feels like super masculine to me. Um, and not just because of the appearance, but like when I saw him, I was like, it's a boy. Um, and I even like looking at the underside of these. Like, I think that's fascinating. Um, but yeah, this chunk. I'm so excited to work with this one. Just because I've been craving some citrine. But I hadn't found any pieces that I really love at um, those nature people. Just nothing was speaking to me, but this piece did. And I saw him last week. Unfortunately, the time we got there, like, it was over. Um, we only had, like, an hour to shop. And we didn't get back to this guy in time last week. So I was very happy that this cluster was still there. Um, very, very pretty. I love, love looking at him. It's going to be hard to leave him at home, but he's too big to take to work. <laughs> so yeah, and I'm probably, I'm trying really hard not to buy next week. Not because I don't have the funds, I do, but I want to take time to get to know all of these. Also, what's great is um, a lot of times he'll send home a box. Although this little sucker is so big that he can't fit in his box properly. So if you're a person who needs to organize, I don't have a big collection. and I'm, I'm very particular. Like I've known I've wanted citrine since at least last November. Um, so I have him and a little peach agate. Which I did not know I wanted. I thought I wanted blue lace, but that's okay. So all in all, I got out of there for $14, which was pretty great. But yes, that is my collective haul from the last couple of weeks. And I am very, very happy. If you made it to the end of this video, kudos to you, because this went twice as long as I was hoping. Which I probably wouldn't have if I hadn't gushed about the... Sweet Siren and Cabin Confections for so long. I apologize. As I said, I just really love supporting uh, farmers markets, my local people. Um, I like being a part of my community, even if I don't always have a lot of time to volunteer. I like throwing my money at local businesses. So thank you for sticking around. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you later. Be good to each other. Bye-bye.